Come on, Cardinals. Let's call up Mason Wynn already. Let's discuss on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FBT in 5 on Saturday, August 12th. I am Frank Stanfield, joined by Scott White. The five prospects on the verge of getting called up. Lots of names we've talked about before, but a new one as well. Jonathan Aranda with the Rays, Michael Bush with the Dodgers, Ronnie Mauricio with the Mets, Mason Wynn with the Cardinals, and Matt Mervis with the Cubs. Obviously, Scott, Mason Wynn, lots of power, lots of speed down in the Cardinals system this year. Uh, you can talk about him. And also, Michael Bush, I feel like I keep seeing his name every day on Twitter doing something new in the minors. Uh, what do you got mm-hmm. on, on those two? Yeah, I mean, Bush continues to crush it just as Jonathan Aranda has. I, I hoped those two would be moved at the deadline. They're overdue for a legit opportunity in the majors, being 25-year-olds with just absurd numbers at AAA. Way too good to stay there. And, you know, what? that's whether you're talking about the underlying numbers or the overlaying numbers. <laughs> the, they're amazing. Uh, part of the reason they're number one and two on the list is because we've already seen them in the majors this year. Small opportunities, but nonetheless, they've, they've gotten opportunities, which means their teams probably aren't going to wait until late August to promote them and preserve that rookie eligibility for next year. Because remember, if a, if a player in his rookie season is on the roster from start to finish and finishes high in rookie of the year voting or in other awards voting in future seasons, then there's a chance for the uh, the the team to score extra draft picks because of it. So there's incentive to have their guys get have have these top prospects get their feet wet late in the year, but still preserve their rookie eligibility for the following year. So uh, the two we haven't seen among these five on the verge are Ronnie Mauricio and Mason Wynn, and that is why I don't think it's realistic we will see them before late in August. Of course, no guarantee we see them even then, but. Ronnie Mauricio, um, there was a report, like as soon as they sent Brett Brett Beatty down, now Ronnie Mauricio is going to start to get some work at third base. So he's already gotten work at left field, second base, places. They they have all kinds of places they could play Ronnie Mauricio whenever they want to pull the trigger. I think it's eventually going to happen. Mason Wynn, he stands out most for his uh, arm and the highlight real plays he can make with it. The power has been surprisingly good, though, and, and he is a fast runner. I, I think there's a chance for him to be kind of a Randy Rosa Reina of shortstops from fantasy perspective. And yeah, it would be a good idea to see him late in the year, especially how well he's been hitting lately. I'm on the verge of removing Matt Mervis from my five on the verge because of what happened with the Cubs at the deadline. What's happened with them since they've been one of the hottest teams in baseball. They're very much in the playoff race now. They acquired Jamer Candelario to help block Matt Mervis at first base and, and held on to Bellinger, who also helps to block Mervis at first base, playing there in center field. Mervis continues to do his thing at AAA, but the Cubs don't have really have room for him anymore, and I'm not sure they want to take their lumps with them, given the state of the team right now. But, you know, maybe there's an injury or something, and we do see Mervis again. Five other prospects who are on the periphery. They're doing something of note lately. Xavier Edwards with the Marlins. Sedane Rafaela with the Red Sox. Ricky Tiedemann with the Blue Jays. Jason Dominguez with the Yankees. And Justice Bigby with the Tigers. Scott, some really big prospect names here on this list. Uh, What's going Mm -hmm. on with these guys? So, Rafaela and Jason Dominguez both got off to slow starts that I think had people beginning to move them down prospect rank lists again. They've both turned their seasons around. I mean, Rafael, his overall numbers are actually better now than during his breakthrough season last year. And he's since moving up to AAA, they've only gotten better. He might be the player we thought Christian Pache was going to be a couple years ago when he was a consensus top 15 prospect, tremendous defender in center field. Uh, but Rafael is doing with the bat what we hoped Pache would eventually grow into and never did. Um, Xavier Edwards of the Marlins is batting around 370 now for the year. And because he's in the Marlins organization and plays second base, it's easy to make Luis Arise comparisons. I think you could also make a Luis Castillo comparison again with the Marlins connection there. 
Luis Castillo, the second baseman from the early 2000s, not the pitcher, obviously. Um, because Edwards is a tremendous contact hitter with good on base skills. He runs a lot more than a rise does. Is he really going to be able to hit for the same kind of average a rise does in the majors? Probably not. There's only one a rise currently in the big leagues. But the point is he's putting up those kinds of numbers in the minors. And, uh, I don't know where he finds an opening in the Marlins. I think he can play some outfield too, but, uh, you know, it's doing interesting things. Uh, real quick, the 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 most unknown of this group, Justice Bigby of the Tigers. Need to get him added to our player pool, actually. He's batting around 360 for the season with power, 24-year-old. Uh, numbers have only gotten better since he moved up to double A. There was some fear early on at high A. Okay, yeah, putting up these ridiculous numbers. But he's 24 years old, picking on younger competition. Nah, been even better since moving up to double A. Justice Big B looks like a name to remember. And for those out there who listen to this podcast, I implore you to check out Scott's writing uh, on these players every week. He does a prospect report on the website, cbssports.com slash fantasy slash baseball, especially for this one, because some great comparisons between Jason Dominguez and Ben Affleck. Go check it out. Highly recommended. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we will be back again next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.